Well, a recent report by DBRS Morningstar has found that Canadian auto insurances are facing rising claims pressure from increased auto theft as well as higher costs to repair and replace vehicles. For more on all of this, let's bring in Patrick Duvale. He's Vice President of Insurance Ratings at DBRS Morningstar. Thank you for coming in. My pleasure. We read a lot, I read a lot, and I think a lot of us read a lot about this in the press, the alarming rise in auto thefts and, and carjackings, which is another more violent version of auto thefts. Uh, how does this look from the insurer's point of view? Yeah, so it looks like there's a particular problem in Canada with auto theft where uh, export of vehicles is, is more prevalent than in other markets. Export of stolen vehicles. Yes, exactly, export mm -hmm. story of stolen vehicles. And that is... Uh, um, especially in Quebec and Ontario, uh, increasing significantly year over year into 2022. So it's, it's certainly raising alarm bells for insurers, and uh, it, as it should for law enforcement, and, and really to identify you know, what's going on uh, specifically in Canada that this is... Uh, because typically, auto theft would be for either joyrides or uh, to commit another crime with mm -hmm. a stolen vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, but now you really have the export, uh, international export problem. And is this, uh, are the consequences turning up in the results of property and casualty insurers? Yeah, we're starting to see it. So just for context, you know, auto insurance was very strong in Canada over the last uh, few years through the pandemic. Uh, you've had lower automobile usage. And that has uh, led to lower claims and really um, helped the results of auto insurers. But now, uh, for about four quarters now, we're starting to see both uh, inflation and theft, as well as the return to more normal driving patterns to, uh, to affect claims and, and auto insurance results. Patrick, what do you see as the probability of, I mean, look, let's, let's face it, one of the, the, the fastest, most effective solutions is for law enforcement to do more. You know, we've had our car stolen and you call the police and, you know, it's not a priority and it's just, it's like a, such a reoccurring event for them. Um, it's, it's low on the priority list. What's, what do you believe the probability is that because of what's happening with insurance rates going up and just the industries that are affected by it, that actually translating all the way down to law enforcement doing something about it, what would be their incentive to? Yeah, I think the good news is that it is a, a solvable problem in my mind. And the reason I say this is that first there was, you know, looking at uh, manufacturers to improve uh, the anti-theft uh, protections on the vehicles. And, and some of the feedback from the manufacturers was that actually, you know, this is like the same vehicles are sold in the U.S., but this is really a Canadian problem. So what's going on? Right. So I think there's probably something to be done around um export controls, uh, you know, in the port, uh, in, in Canadian ports that maybe they're doing in the U.S. that we don't see here. So that's right. one feedback we've heard. And the other thing that insurance, uh, the insurance sector has been working on is uh, installing devices, and then you can actually get even like a credit on your premium um, if you, especially for certain types of vehicles that are that are particularly targeted. What, what type of devices? Isn't it somewhat outrageous that it, it, is, it appears to be so easy for a thief to steal a vehicle using electronic contactless keys? I mean, one would think that advanced digital technology could be empowered to make it more difficult, not easier to steal a vehicle. It seems easier to steal an advanced late model vehicle with a sophisticated ignition system than it was back in the days of a mechanical key. Yeah, and especially, you know, if you think from an insurance perspective, those uh, really high end models, brand new vehicles that are being stolen, that's sort of worst case scenario uh, from a claims perspective. So obviously um, it, is, it is outrageous. Um, again, I think there are solutions. Uh, theft is about 7% or so of claims for auto insurance in Canada. So uh, there's certainly, you know, work to be done in order to, to help uh, overall claims pressure and, and ultimately premiums. Are you aware of the insurance companies or the insurance industries pushing law enforcement or pushing automobile manufacturers to make changes? Yeah, you know, I think automobile manufacturers are global. And again, they're, they won't necessarily pay that much attention to Canada. Uh, but certainly the insurance sector has, is having those conversations and same thing with government. Uh, and authorities, uh, law enforcement, to try to find, again, what's unique to Canada and what can be solved. You say in your report that the good times are now in the rear view mirror for Canadian property and casualty insurers. What do you mean by that? Yeah, so I think it was really talking about the, the strong performance that we've seen through the pandemic. Um, now, 
as I've mentioned, there's rising pressure on claims, and at the same time, there's a big conversation around affordability. A lot of auto insurance uh, premiums in Canada, in various provinces, are uh, regulated. So, uh, and it's still a very competitive industry, right? You're not, it's not just three players, it's still uh, relatively fragmented. So if you go and shop around, you have a lot of choice. And what happens is usually when premiums are going up, that's where uh, consumers will, will shop around a lot. So uh, it's been a great time to be an auto insurer, but I think, you know, in, in, in the past, there's been some tougher periods. And I think we could be uh, seeing that going forward. How big a portion of their business is the auto insurance uh, uh, segment? It depends for which which player. Um, what we've seen is um, going into commercial is uh, is where there's higher margins. So, um, and I would point out also to other markets like the U.S. and the U.K. that are also really struggling for auto insurance. So, um, it is you know it is bread and butter product for for uh, Canadian property and casualty insurers. But uh, the diversification, either internationally or into commercial lines, um, is helping them. Patrick, that's an